this video, we'll have a look at the dashboard. The dashboard is where you can monitor your chatbot's performance. What's really important for us is to give you all of the tools you need to really make your dashboard your own. We don't want to just throw a couple of metrics there uh, for you to have a look at, which might be sort of vanity metrics or metrics that are not super relevant for your business. So what we've done instead is uh, once you log into your platform for the first time, you'll probably see this screen, which basically says you don't have any metrics selected, edit your metrics now. So what you can do is edit the actual dashboard. So if, you, if I hit the edit button here in the top right, what I can do is view all of the metrics that are currently available in the platform. If I scroll here, there's about 30, maybe 40 metrics available to you. And you can basically pick the ones that you feel would be really relevant for your business. So here I'm just selecting a few. There's uh, pie charts, there's values, there's line graphs, um, there's tables as well, if I can find one. There we go. So I can do all of that, um, close this, this um, slide in and just save my dashboard. And here I go. Now I have a dashboard that's completely relevant to my business. Obviously, there's no metrics in here because this is a, a demo account, but you can see how you can really make this your own. Another thing that you can do is if you hit edit again, you can move the dashboard around, move the metrics around to really suit whatever it is you'd like to display. Um, what's really important here is uh, you want to make your dashboard your own. So this comes with uh, actual layout, like I've just shown you, picking the metrics, but it goes a bit further than this in the UPSN platform. What you can actually do as well is create custom metrics. So whatever your business is, um, we may not know what metrics you'd like to track. Uh, you may create com completely different conversations than we could have ever dreamed of or work in an industry that we know nothing about. So what we've done instead of pushing our metrics onto your dashboard is give you the ability to create your own metrics. So what you want to do is go into integrations to do this and select metrics. In here, as you can see, I've created a metric earlier called testing, and I couldn't even spell it. Um, but I could here create as many metrics as I'd like. So I could say uh, bread ordered. And so now I've created this as a new metric, and I can go into the conversation builder, um, which you'll learn about in another video. But I could go into the conversation builder and just imagining that this was our um, uh, bread purchasing conversation, I could at some point in the transition, add a metric to say, all right, when someone has gone through this step of the, of the process, um, just increment the bread ordered metric by one. So if I go back to my dashboard, what this does is I can now edit the dashboard, look at the metrics like I've done earlier, scroll all the way down, and here is my bread ordered value, which is a small value. And now I can add this on my dashboard, um, save it, and I can keep track of something that's really, really relevant for me um, to, to keep an eye on. And um, this really is what allows you to have a completely bespoke dashboard uh, to your specific requirements, allowing you to track your chatbot's performance, not anyone else's or not all of the metrics that we want you to track. Okay, let's look at another feature. 